Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, being able to be a part of your journey and we're adding more and more beautiful things as missing pieces to the puzzle of our journey to be the best versions we can be so thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the videos uh have been giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even you know a fellow empath they're really going through some trying times they need you know answers to some of their questions or even most of their questions or finding out if they're on their you know what their life path is or their sole purpose please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you for the love and support i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today my music that i'm listening to my meditation music i'm listening to in the background is 528 hertz uh tranquility music for self-healing mindfulness and finding yourself harmony music for the soul that definitely is fitting the uh content of my video today uh my video today is like twin flame 101 when dark night of the soul tries to come back for a visit lord have mercy you know i was talking to one of my love bugs the other day um on a one-on-one -on -one, uh councilman whatever and it, it was like I, it was like we were both resonating with each other, you know, um, going through different things. You know, if you've ever dealt with Dark Night of the Soul, it's like not <laughs> pretty. It's not. That's why I tend to take my time off, especially if I'm going through a lot of stuff. And it's like if y'all have, you know, you hit me up on certain times where you don't see me, you know, making videos that day, please don't take offense. I'm just doing some self-care and healing on different levels because it's just like this week well, last week was uh, a trying week for me being over you know seeing different people that has caused damage in my life you know and all a few of them all at one time it was a lot for me so it was like I was purging a lot of healing you know a lot of pain a lot of trauma that has been in my life you know um, if you've been with me for a while you know that my family was like the root of all my my um, abuse and being able to face them without having any kind of negative feeling you know as you being an empath when you're around narcissistic people your energy will get worked up and you tend to stutter like if they talk to you like uh, uh and it's not like you're scared but it's like that vibe is giving off like you shouldn't be talking to them and my daughter was like well mom i never wanted you to feel uncomfortable you didn't have to do that you know but i did that it was like a closure for me in, in so many different levels i knew that universe had placed that time that was that time for me to go through that test for me to be able to release that like I can keep saying all day I forgive them not letting their power you know giving them my power taking my power back you know all these different things and it was just like ego and uh, dark night of the soul was playing tetherball with my daggone feelings and my emotions yesterday and it was like me and my daughter was bouncing off like you know like crazy but it's like, like I try to tell y'all, I'm a work in progress. As I'm healing, I'm helping y'all heal as well. You know, we're all on this journey going through different situations, but having our same mission, healing ourselves and helping others as well. So, you know, do, dealing with the dark night of the soul, it can make you feel lost in translation, basically. It can make you feel like, you know, the world is like totally against you, is making you face all your fears all at one time. Ego and stuff is just like up in an uproar. You're going through so many, you're releasing and you're, you know, you're going through a lot of trauma, experiencing the same trauma as well, you know, because if you're not doing the things that you're supposed to do, you know, when I'm letting go, it's like, but I'm still going through, you know, when you say you forgive somebody, you're supposed to be able to forgive them and let it go. 
but it was just a lot of things that my ego kept triggering off you know it's just like my adopted father kept on you know I told him that I'm being the better person he was like oh I like that you know you being a better person and it was just like my ego was like you want to just bust this man's skull wide open don't you <laughs> I'm like stop that <laughs> you know stop that don't do it don't do it don't engage in that you know um but it was a it was very traumatic for me and it was a lot like releasing a lot because I didn't I knew it was going to happen but I didn't know it was going to be this soon for me to be able to face that but it was just a beautiful blessing to be able to, I wasn't being fake but it's like I'm not going to exaggerate you tell me you love me I'm just like uh -huh. okay <laughs> I'm not about to tell you I love you back when I don't love you I'm, I'm not fake like that you know and their vibes was like really showing themselves like they were trying to cloak but it's like since my full awakening know what to look for and know what's not allowed to trigger me when it comes to them because I know I'm like the back of my hand you know it was a beautiful blessing because it did not reel me in but it's just like ego didn't like the fact that I closed that book and you know you can really go through some stuff but it's just like you know like my dad he kept on my my real dad my dad um it's like anytime I felt that I was going through stuff, he was always there to comfort me, lift my vibes up and everything like that. And he was just like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I heard, I heard him saying his little, you know, he was mumbling in my head. And I'm just like, and that's what kept it entertaining as well. Because he was just, da, 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 you know, but he was looking, but he had his little words to say. Anybody know my dad? He He's <laughs> it's like I'm the female version of him. You know, he has, you know, he can be slick about it. But he'd be like, oh, I'm just joking. Knowing that was how he really truly felt. But he would just throw you off with that joking part. But it was just like, you know, I appreciated my dad. But that was something I had to work on myself. You know, and he was just like, and I knew the universe was testing me that way. Because, you know, especially when your twin flame is there, they never want to, um, they feel when your energy changes, your emotion changes. Especially if it's for the worse. You know, they want you to be able to feel that love, being able to feel that support, knowing that they're there. And I told my dad, I appreciate all that. You're like my first heartbeat, my last breath. But this is something I have to work on with myself. You know, if I want to be where I need to be, I have so many layers and levels to be healing on. But I can't keep running to you for that. I have to be able to find that happiness inside. I love the fact that you're doing that. But this is something I have to work on within. And it was just like, I hear my mom like, hello. And I hear my, my God sister that passed on. You learning, girl. You learning. So it's just a lot of times when you're going through a uh, dark night. When the dark night wants to sit up here and knock on your door, don't answer that. Because <laughs> you got work to do when there's nothing to have to do with that dark night of the soul. Because it's just like when you're on your conquest of bettering yourself, raising your vibrations, letting go of trauma, healing yourself from sorrow and pain. You know, you're going to have that push and pull factor. So don't don't beat yourself up for that. Because it's like when you have lived so many years in that dark, dark place, so much time in despair, feeling depressions from all levels and uh, panic attacks anxiety attacks it is no fun but when you have that spiritual awakening that's allowing something that has been in you that was dormant for so long for it to be like okay it's time to flip that switch so it's just like when I'm envisioning like before I start doing this video I envision and I almost broke into tears because I see so many fellow empaths that are like sitting in a corner and crying you know um they can be good one minute and then they're crying in the corner next and I know what that feels like you can be happy one moment and all it does is take that one memory one memory to come back and it might double you back a little bit but it's just like while you're working on yourself your inner self as well as the outer outer exterior um well I just said double thing but you know what I meant um when you're working on your inner self inside of yourself and as well as the out to project you know you're gonna have that because your body and your mind everything is going into shock because you're starting to look at things in a different perspective you're starting to try to look at things in a positive you know perspective um, allowing yourself to be optimistic about the unknown 
you know so of course the ego ain't gonna like that because the ego gonna be trying to trigger you you know this stuff ain't gonna turn for you why are you working on this it's just a waste of time you know ego will try to do anything to make you second guess guess yourself but these are the things you're gonna have to go through your body's gonna go through shock because if you've been in that state where you know you feel like nothing's ever gonna turn out for you if blessings come it might it must be a catch to it or you know things doesn't seem real or you even might have doubts that that shift is coming you will see you will see signs of things happening you know I was having a vision the other day and it was very beautiful and then it was just like I ended up seeing a video of uh, a music video that I saw and it was exactly how I pictured it and I burst out into tears and I knew that was the universe echoing out to me as soon as I said that my phone lit up so that was confirmation and I got chills <laughs> you know I don't know if you can see it but I got major chills so it's just allowing yourself to be able to not put too much pressure on yourself live for that moment live in the now but give yourself that every minute that you know you're doing something positive for yourself you're changing you're evolving you're ascending all these different things because you know that all that energy that you're trying to recycle to you know take all the bad replace it with good that takes work you know and never you know beat yourself up because you feel like you got to speed up the process like oh it's too late or oh you know I should have been a certain way by now no you're right where you needed to be you had to go through all these things to be able to get to it so don't never second guess yourself you know that's the reason why I took that time off because if I'm in that funky attitude like I've told y'all before I'm not gonna make any videos you know there was people talking to me and I was trying to make it short because my head was hurting really bad for the last two days so I know I was purging a lot you know, and a love bug hit me up. One of my soul sisters hit me up yesterday, and I was trying—I wasn't trying to be short with her, but I know how powerful my energy is. And she's like, "Oh, I feel your your headache." I said, "This is the main reason why I didn't want to talk to you <laughs> today." You know, and it's not like I was ignoring her, but if I'm dealing with a lot of inner demons that I'm trying to let go of, I tend to not want to talk to people because that can project out to them. Even though if I'm being nice, it will still project out to them if they're sensitive. They're solely connected to me that happens so anytime if y'all hit me up on Facebook Messenger or anything like that and I seem to be short with you don't take it personal this is something that I'm, I'm doing this for your benefit you know it, it's just like but I'm working on myself so um, if you're dealing with Dark Knight of the Soul you know if you're not sure what it is please Google it it tells you so many different meanings and characteristics and the things you need to look for while dealing with that you know it's like the spiritual attack that tends to happen when you're in transition so keep working on yourself believe in yourself have faith in you know God and the universe that better things are coming for you because they truly are you're manifesting a lot so you're gonna be going through a lot so um give yourself that time you know um, Try to see things for what they truly are. Don't read too much into it. You know, go with the flow and don't put pressure on yourself. So um, the other two videos that I had, I already uh, set up here and said this because I know this is going to be my third video. Those were from two days ago, but it was like I was all in my feelings and stuff like that. And it was like when you upload and you're a YouTuber, it, it's like something always wrong with that on YouTube. It'll say a uh, file error couldn't update. Next thing you know, if you have... Uh, more videos to upload and queued for that it will exit all the other ones out so I was just like oh, thank God it was only two you know because it's happened to me when I had like five or six in a lineup to go ahead and do so uh, those were from two days ago but I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day week uh, weekend well yeah it's extended weekend is Monday but I hope y'all you know enjoy it I'm gonna get my post notification shout out uh -oh. I mean it got an um universes I got like three pages of content for actually so I gotta just rumble through on which one I need to talk about uh to spiritual spirit of east journey work and healing 
and Nate Mason. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate with this video or not. Many blessings and love to you. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm definitely praying for you. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be safe for everything you do. And like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out in my next video. And I will see you later. Much love. Peace. Be wild.